All right, so in this video, I'm gonna solve the equation eight to the power of x is equal to 32. So to solve this, I'm gonna start by taking the log on both sides. So I get log of eight to the power of x is equal to log 32. And now if I have something in the form log of a to the power of b, I can move this x1 and b to the front of the logarithm. So this is turned into b times log a. So log a to the power of b is equal to b times log a. So now in the case of log a to the power of x, we can think of x as b, so we can move x to the front of the logarithm. So I get x times log of 8 is equal to log of 32. Now, from here, I'm going to divide both sides by log 8 because we want to isolate x because that's what we're trying to find the value of. So now these two cancel out. And I get x is equal to log of 32 over log of 8. Now, log of 32 is the same thing as log of 8 times 4. So I get log of 8 times 4 over log of 32. And if I have something in the form log of a times b, this is equal to log a plus log b. So in this case, this is going to equal log of 8 plus log of 4. And I have this over log of 32. Sorry, I have this over log of 8. Now, this turns into log 8 over log 8 plus log 4 over log 8. So now these two cancel out to get 1. So I get x is equal to 1 plus log of 4 over log of 8. Now, log of 4 is the same thing as log of 2 squared. And log of 8 is the same thing as log of 2 to the power of 3. So now if I have something in the form log of a to the power of b, again, I can move b to the front, so turn to b times log a. So that's exactly what I'm going to do with both of these. So I get x is equal to 1 plus, I can move the 2 to the front. So <clears throat> 2 times log 2 over the same thing with 3, so 3 times log 2. So now these two cancel out, and I get x is equal to 1 plus 2 over 3, which is equal to 1 is the same thing as 3 over 3, so 3 over 3 plus 2 over 3, which is 5 over 3. So x is 5 over 3. Now, how do we know that this is the right answer? So, going back, we have a to the power of x equals 32. And we're plugging in 5 over 3. So we get 8 to the power of 5 over 3 is equal to 32. Now, if you already know, 8 is the same thing as 2 to the power of 3. So I get 2 to the power of 3 to the power of 5 over 3 is equal to 33 is the same thing. 32 is the same thing as 2 to the power of 5. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So these two 3s cancel out. 
and I get 2 to the power of 5 is equal to 2 to the power of 5, or this is the same thing as 32 is equal to 32. This is right. Now, I also have a second method of solving this problem. So for the second method, we have the same equation, a to the power of x is equal to 32, and this is a simpler method. So for this method, I'm actually just going to start by rewriting these two numbers. So 8, I'm going to rewrite as 2 to the power of 3. And 32, I'm going to rewrite as 2 to the power of 5. So I'm rewriting both of these as the same bases, which now it makes them much easier to solve. 2 to the power of 3 to the power of x is the same thing as 2 to the power of 3x, which is equal to 2 to the power of 5. And because these two have the same bases, a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n, meaning m is equal to n. So 3x is equal to 5, and x is equal to 5 over 3. So that's another method of solving this equation. Now, if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe, leave a like, and share this to any of your friends or family. Thank you. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be solving the equation five to the power of x is equal to 50. So to first start with this problem, let's test different values of x. So if x is one, then I get five to the power of one, which is equal to five, and this is too low. Now if, it's, if x equals two, I get five to the power of two, which is 25, and this again is too low. Now if x equals three, then I have five to the power of three, which is 125, and this is way too high. So we know that the value of x is gonna be somewhere in between two and three, meaning it's gonna be a decimal. So how are we gonna find the exact value of x? Well, to start, we're gonna be using logarithms. So I'm going to take the log on both sides. So I get log 5 to the power of x is equal to log 50. And the reason I'm doing this is because logarithms come with a special property that state that if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can actually move the exponent b to the front. So this turns into b times log a. So in this case, I have log phi to the power of x, and we can think of x as b, and I can move this x to the front. So now I get x times log 5 is equal to log 50. And now remember, we want to find the value of x, so all we have to do to do that is to get rid of this log 5 by dividing both sides by log 5. So now these two cancel out, and I get x is equal to log 50 over log 5. And now, let's simplify this a little to get the exact decimal value. So log 50 is the same thing as log of 10 times 5. And another property of logarithms is that if I have something in the form log of a times b, this is equal to log a plus log b. So now this turns into log 10 plus log 5 over log 5, which is the same thing as log 10 over log 5 plus log 5 over log 5, which is just 1. And log 10 is also equal to 1. So I get x equals 1 over log 5 plus 1. So now, all that's left to do is do 1 divided by log 5 in my calculator. So I get x is equal to 1.431 1 plus 1 which is equal to 2.431. So this is my answer.